Hey everybody, I am Jennifer Perkins and I am so excited to be talking about one of my very favorite topics, Christmas Kids Crafts, with you and all the plaid peeps today. I have a really fun project that we're gonna talk about that uses apple barrel paint and involves getting the littles crafty. We are gonna be making this fun, festive, and oh so easy, painted wooden garland using, like I said, apple barrel paint. I love apple barrel paint because, let me count the ways. One, it doesn't cost a ton of money, added bonus. Two, comes in about a gazillion different colors. Three, totally safe for kids to use, which if your house is like my house, if mama's crafting, the kids are crafting. There is no sense in me having out a craft medium that my kids aren't allowed to play with because they will find it and they will get into it. So I just play it safe and use kid-friendly stuff like plaid apple barrel paint all the time. So how did I get these cute little additions on this banner? Let me tell you, it's called wooden discs. Yes, these guys come at the craft store in about a million different sizes, big, medium, tiny, round, square, you name it, different thicknesses, different widths, all that kind of stuff. So first things first, each little section on here is actually two pieces sandwiched together. So first things first, let's paint one of the sides of our wooden discs. I am gonna use Apple Barrel fuchsia paint, okay? You just need a regular old paintbrush. Plaid makes paintbrushes. I am gonna put a really thin coat on here. Now this is the part, I'm doing it, but this is the part where you could easily get your kids involved and get them painting because, you know, we're just painting a wooden disc. It's not hard. And these wooden discs, they absorb paint really easily. So it's not one of those surfaces, it's kind of tricky and maybe you've got to sand it first or it needs several coats. That's the thing I always find about apple barrel paint is I don't need a ton of coats. I use it to craft with, and I use it in my art journal and on canvases when I'm doing more fine art. I use that term very loosely. All right, so first things first, you paint a solid color. Remember, each little section needs two wooden discs. As luck would have it, I already have this side painted and dried. This side was done in Apple Barrel New Shamrock. So what I am doing is just creating an abstract pattern on these. Again, perfect for kids, also easy to do and on trend. So it's a win-win situation. So I'm using, again, my angled brush. I'm using my plaid Apple Barrel New Shamrock paint, and I'm just gonna make some dashes, okay? Oh, wait, this one's already done in New Shamrock. Let's go back to pink, actually, for this. Okay, then I'm gonna go like this like this, I'm telling you it's really, really super complicated. My seven-year-old son helped me paint this banner. If we can do it together, you can do it, I promise. Great for a class project, if you're trying to decorate your classroom, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there we go, got it all done. Next, each one of these has three colors on them, okay? You can see right here, three main colors and then white polka dots. So on here I did the background in green that's called Limeade, and then I did the fuchsia kind of thicker stripes, and I did the little thin ones in the new shamrock. Okay, so over here I did some, and you can see it's already got the Limeade in there, so I'm gonna do the same pattern over here on the one that we have been working on, okay? So I'm gonna squirt out a little, and I'm just using this angled brush, and I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna make a little dash. See, doink, nothing complicated. That's how I like it. I like random patterns. They're easy to do, and they look good. There you go. Next stop, white polka dots. Who's ready? I know I am using Apple Barrel White, put it in. And I'm gonna show you my favorite way to make polka dots. It's called the end of a paintbrush. So you just dip and dab, dip and dab. See how that magic's coming together? Easy, right? I told you. So you would just keep on keeping on until you were all done. Then you could add it to regular yarn or twine, or in my case, I have yarn that is already pre-pom-pommed. How handy is 
that. Okay, so get you two pieces. Remember, we talked about we are sandwiching these. Put that guy there. I'm gonna put my hot glue all around the edges. Then I'm gonna bring in my second wooden disc. Da -do. Put it on top and squeeze it. Now with the hot glue gun, if you're doing this with the kids, you wanna be sure to use low temperature and supervise this part. Don't just hand them over the hottest of hot glue guns or they'll come back with no fingertips. Okay, and there you go. And that's how you do it. If you wanna come in with another trim on the edges where they're sandwiched together, you totally can put the kids to work. Try different sizes, try beads, different colors, different patterns. Where am I gonna put this beauty? Fireplace, tree, possibly a necklace. I don't know. What are you gonna do with your apple barrel, plaid, pom-pom, painted wood banner? I know it's a mouthful, but it's fun, it's easy, and it's adorable. I am Jennifer Perkins. Check me out at jenniferperkins.com. And as always, thank you to Plaid and Apple Barrel Paint for having me hang out and get crafty. Bye.